morning. Good morning. We were almost not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, let's get everything in before we had to come on. That's so funny. That is funny. How are you doing? I am doing super. How yeah? about you, my love? I'm good. I had a good workout today. Happy Valentine's Day. Aw, thank mm. you. Same to you. See, we have balloons. Told you we have balloons. Yes. So that was fun. We went and got them together. We got to pick them out yesterday. Indeed. Uh, how was your workout? My workout was good. Yeah? Today I did uh, shoulders, triceps, and abs. Yeah? Yeah. It was a long workout, though. Yeah, you know, as I told you this morning, is I, I, I've come to the conclusion there were two days where... My workouts are just long. Yeah. And, um, you know, I don't know. I did uh, legs today. I did 120 lunges. They would work pretty well. And I, somebody has been nagging me to do some stretching. So mm. I've been doing stretching. Very yummy. <laughs> Sticking your fingers in your mouth. Yes. Um, so I did some stretching, so that was good. But I realized we've never really talked about um, how many reps we, we do, each right. of us. Right. And we, our workouts are a little bit different. So how many reps do you do when you do? Because I know you do like 13 sets sometimes. Yes, I do a lot of sets, but I typically do between 8 to 10 repetitions, unless I'm trying to go specifically heavy that day, like lift heavier weights. And then I'll work up to I'll go as low as four, or sometimes even two if I'm trying to do like – I never do just one. Right. If I can do one, I figure I can do two. Okay. So, you know. And I always do at least 10, and then sometimes I'll do 12 or 15 or as many as 20. So when I do – can I have the sunflower seeds? Yes. When I do um, lunges, I do 40, which is 20 for each leg, which is why I end up with 160 if I do four sets. Right. So – that, that's one of the reasons, because I was looking at our journals, and I was like, how is he getting so many more exercises in than I am? And then I realized it's because you do less reps than yes, I do. Yes. Well, and because from my bodybuilding history, I am, when I work out, I think about all the little tiny muscle groups and how you mm -hmm. hit those off. And so I do a, I'd do rather do a variety of exercises than, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> than, than the basic. Now, if you're just starting out working out, you really just want to develop a core. So, you know, like, like, Three exercises per body part is plenty. I you know I feel like we work out for different reasons too. Yeah, I so, agree with that. Um, I think that most people could do the kind of working out that I do, and it would be perfectly fine for them. Right. Um, and even less than I do would be perfectly fine for most people. Right. I, I didn't tell you this, but I actually found so I'm going back now, 15 years. Mm -hmm. a, a friend of mine at the gym in New Jersey had asked me if I could do a give him a, a quick routine for his son. Mm -hmm. So I went and created this PDF with, with images and stuff of uh, this basic core exercise that he should start. It was at the time, I think his son was 12 years old. Okay. Um, and I sent it to him. And I found out it was just kind of interesting. You found it? Yeah. Now, That's you know what's bizarre. funny? But then I told you my backup doesn't back up anymore. Right. So that might be where it is. So I'm not uh, sure I you may stay. not have it anymore. All right. Yeah. But uh, so that was interesting. I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, I actually did a pretty good job. Yeah, I'm and, sure you, know, you did. When I was in... Um, now, now I'm deviating, folks. Sorry. He is. He's off on a tangent. But Don't when mind I was us. In, when I was in, I want to say ninth, maybe tenth grade, mm -hmm. I wrote a little book on, on, on working out. That was part of my English class pro, uh, project. Really? And I got an A on it, so it must be okay. Well, either that or the teacher knew nothing about working out. Knew what they nothing about working Either way, I got an A. It's you all didn't good. get a knife out, I guess. Or today. a spoon, no. No, fail. Uh huh. So today at the gym, someone decided that they needed to tell me that they were concerned that I was going to get too thin. He said I wasn't there yet, right? but that he was concerned that I would. So he's got a, bra a, a, a measuring instrument going on. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to do your No, go ahead. Um, so that, it's always funny to me when someone says to me, be careful, don't get too thin. I'm mm -hmm. like, really? Mm -hmm. First of all, I think most people have no idea what too thin really means. Well, as I said to you this morning, based on the Western diet or the American diet, is what we consider to be in shape. If you actually did the medical studies or, you know, did the testing on it, you'd find it really isn't. Yeah. You know? So our perception of what's in shape and what's too thin is skewed based on the diet that we, that the yeah. typical American will eat. But, yeah, it is funny that people seem more than happy to tell me that they, yeah. you know, don't get too thin, yeah. which is funny. Um, a couple of different people have been sending me um, messages either on Facebook or an email that they've been making changes and they've been having success. So thank you for sharing those. That's, That's awesome. always a lot of fun to hear. Yes, that is People's very awesome. Success. Uh -huh. um, we also want to let you guys know that if you're on our newsletter, that that's going to go out today. Probably when I get done here, I'm going to go send it. So if, you're, if you've gone to our website and joined our newsletter, there's a button up in the top right corner of the website. 
you will be getting that today and we're going to be talking about um, sugar alcohol which is something that you'll find often in vegan food or sugar-free food right. so that there's a note about that in the newsletter so we want to let you know about that right but more importantly today and that was from Chuck he sent us a, a picture that said what is this and so yeah. I went and looked it up thanks so, Chuck thank you Chuck for giving us our uh, uh, topic for our newsletter this week right. I want to talk to you guys about the extreme lack of fiber in the Western diet no. and the problems that it causes. So um, let, first let's talk about what is fiber and why is it important. Fiber comes in two forms, soluble and insoluble. Um, insoluble basically means that it can't be processed at all and it just moves through. Yeah. Soluble means it does, there's water and, and, it can, and there's stuff in it. Yeah. So, And I can do a better job of explaining that. Um, at another time. I didn't look up the details to be able to explain it today. But if you're eating whole foods, you're getting a lot of fiber because obviously plant structure, the mm -hmm. fiber in it is what makes the plant solid. Right. And if you if you cook a plant, then it get the, the it breaks it down some. Right. But you still do get a lot of fiber out of it. Right. So that's really great. But since most Americans eat very little plants, when you think about the standard American diet, most Americans eat very, very few plants. Right. And the problem with that is, is that meat, zero fiber. Dairy, zero fiber. Eggs, unless you're eating the shell, zero fiber. Right. Um, and so most of the uh, cheese, forget about it. No. There's the no opposite. fiber. What's the opposite of fiber? <laughs> right? That'll just bind you up. That's yes. all bad. Uh -huh. And the problem with that is, is that it it creates you know colon cancers mm -hmm. and all kinds, because stuff sits in your colon and in your intestines a lot longer yeah. than it should. And the thing to keep in mind, as we've already mentioned, is how long your intestines are, and the process. I mean, it doesn't go out; it goes, you know, very slowly. It takes a couple of days, sometimes body, four days. Yeah, because your body's trying to pull all the nutrients out of it, which is, as Robin had mentioned in the past, is when we were um, eating mostly plants. Is, and, and why our intestines developed the way they did is because it took a long time to pull all those nutrients out of the out of, out the, of the fiber. You have to get separated from the right. fiber. And so that's how our intestines developed through um, evolution. Yes. Right. Uh, couldn't think of evolution. Yes. Um, and so, you know, it sits there a long time. So problem is, so do animal products because it's going to go through. They the sit same. there a long time, and animal products are harder to push through. So they right. sit there even longer than plants. Play. And they rot. They do rot. They get yicky. But so it creates super unhealthy situation. Why do you think there's so many fiber supplements on the market? Uh -huh. Like there's, and prior for us to going plant based, I was taking a, a fiber supplement every single day. And yeah. my doctor was like, "Yeah, you, you just have to." And I'm like, "This makes no sense. Why yeah. do we have this issue?" Yes, the human body is capable of doing things the right way. They don't need help. Right. She's talking about cheese and why it's and more constant, not more yes. concentrated. Yeah, with the casein. Yeah. yeah. So. The, the challenge is, is if you're eating the standard American diet, and you think about it, it's got processed bread, which has all the wheat germ removed mm -hmm. out of it, which is what, where the fiber is, so that's, that's gone. You've got animal products. You've got overcooked veggies. Maybe you've got some lettuce mm -hmm. thrown on your hamburger. And then where are you getting, where are you getting your fiber? And so there's a, one of the doctors made the comment, and he was like, people should be less worried about where am I going to get enough protein and much more worried about how am I going to get enough fiber. Right. I don't know. It's just what we're talking about this, what pops into my head is the Grand Slam breakfast. Well, I don't know why, but think about what's in that. You have your eggs. Mm -hmm. You have your bacon. Mm -hmm. You have your sausage. Mm -hmm. You have your pancakes, which have you know butter and eggs in it. And then you're going to pour the syrup flour. on it and mm -hmm. white flour, right? Mm -hmm. And then you probably have your hash browns, which are fried. Right. The one vegetable you have has been fried. The, the, great, American, it's not... the great American breakfast. Yeah. It's a good point. There's no fiber in there. No. So, well, you get toast, but by the time you eat everything else, you actually And the toast is usually white toast. White, well, unless, There's no yes. fiber in that either. If you get the standard toast, it's white bread, yep. which has got every, all these nutrients pull out of it, and then it's fortified with the ones that they know you need, or else you'll get berry berry or uh, other, some other strange yeah. disease. So not only does eating plants give you more of the nutrients in the package, you actually need them for your body to be healthy, mm -hmm. but it also gives you the fiber you need. Like we're yeah. designed to eat that kind of stuff. And so I think that that's, that's a really positive part of, of eating plants. And you know, mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, there's no downside to eating plants. Mm -hmm. It's all upside, so why not? Think of the industry that's being, that, that was created here. 
Let's convince everybody to eat the American diet okay. or the Western diet. I hate to keep saying American diet, but we're in America, so why? Standard not? American diet. Right. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll create an industry that puts out products that fixes all the things that the American diet causes, right? <laughs> lack of fiber, right, lack, lack of, of nutrients. Right, right. You know, you get, you get you know, indigestion. You, all these things that you get from eating the American diet mm -hmm. has created an industry of products that are geared towards, towards curing the, mm -hmm. or, or easing the symptoms that you get from eating that type of food. Right. How bizarre. It is very, very strange. So... Mo Russ is motivating you. Ah, nice. Right. Multi-grain oatmeal. That's cool. Good job. High yeah. five. High five. We like to hear it. We'd and like you know what? We're, we've started hearing that. People are starting to say, you know, I, I decided to have one meal this week that was all plants. And I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I left my massage therapist's office yesterday, and as I walked away, I said, eat plants. He's like, I know. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, you know, it's interesting because talking to that factor, so when I was making bread, I was using organic white flour that was, it was unbleached, mm -hmm. but it was still white flour. I was using two cups of that and two cups of the whole wheat, wheat whole grain mm -hmm. flour. And the last time I made bread, I substituted one of the whole, one of the two cups of whole wheat flour, I mean of white, white flour mm -hmm. for rye flour, which was an all whole grain, mm -hmm. has everything in it. And yes, the bread did not rise as much, but I am not so sure that it was because of the bread or because I used less of the starter. The sour oh, did you stuff. use less sour? Yeah, because starter? I didn't have that much, and I was worried about. He was worried. I told him not to worry, but he was worried he was, he was going to use it all up. Right now, I am making bread for uh, people this weekend, and so I'm probably going to use uh, the Do regular, it two and two again. Two and two, two and two, two and two. And I'm going to make um, bean chili, right. and we're because we we're going over to vi visit friends, and they're like. We don't want to cook for you. I'm like, okay, I'll nope. just bring something. Don't no worry problem. about it. We'll cook. We'll cook. So I'm gonna. No, she'll cook. <laughs> you'll I'll make bake. bread. So that's our plan. Mm. But if you add, um, she's. I have not. No, Laura, I've not made made any flatbread from basin. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it says. Basin I'm, flour. I've never heard of basin flour. So I'll have to look that I'll have up. Have to look it up. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to eat the standard American diet, which I don't recommend you do because it'll kill you, but if you're going to do that. I would highly recommend that you start trying to figure out how to uh, how to add more fiber to your diet, whether that means you take a fiber supplement of some kind or another, mm -hmm. or heaven forbid you actually eat some plants. Mm. But so she says chickpea, chickpea flour. Oh, so that's cool. We can yeah. probably find that. No, um, go ahead. So I, I I ate my dinner last we're night. We're eating almonds. Yes, we're, we're eating a lot of almonds actually. <laughs> So I, I made my dinner last night, which was the shepherd's pie that Robin made, which is all plant-based. It's ratatouille with potatoes on it, basically. And it has chickpeas in it. It does. So I'm thinking yesterday, well, I did have the uh, piece, the, the split pea soup, split, so that has okay. no chickpeas in it. That has no chickpeas okay. in it. But I was thinking about I had bread with hummus a couple of times yesterday because I eat a lot of hummus. We eat a lot of hummus in this house mm -hmm. uh, that Robin makes. Uh, and then I had the um, shepherd's pie, and I'm thinking – I eat a lot of chickpeas. <laughs> do we, we do eat a lot of chickpeas. They're cheap. Yeah. And it's a good source. It's an excellent source of protein. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's what we wanted to share with you today was that the, the importance of fiber in your diet. Even if you don't want to listen to us and eat more plants, do try to get some more fiber because um, the lack of fiber in the American diet is definitely causing problems with our GI tracts and our colons because right. it's not designed to move the no fiber food that we eat. Right. And um, back to the uh, repetitions and workouts, mm -hmm. just another note on that. Um, if you're, circle back. Circle back. If you're looking to get into a workout or sort of workout process, uh, we do offer a... Um, a consultation, and he'll develop a plan I'll develop for a plan for you, and, and I basically will take it where you are in the development. I'll always say, before you start any exercise program, make sure you talk to your doctor and make sure they tell you it's okay. Uh, however, and I, I will... Start you through a process of very simple, very let's get your body used to it, and then as you advance, the and idea is your goals. and the idea is we meet we, we meet you know virtually uh, once a month to, to mm -hmm. go over what you're doing, and and figure out how we can um, implement new exercises, change exercises so we don't make it so we don't so get don't turn it be boring right, um, which I find silly. I never find it boring, but I know people I get do. bored. And so if you're interested in something like that, check out our website and uh, go into it's services. It's under services. Yeah. I think it's one of the last services we offer at the very bottom. It's at the bottom. bottom of the services page, right. yeah. Right. But it's there for anybody wanting it, and it's very affordable. It's very inexpensive. Yeah, it's a very reasonable price. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all we have today.
We've been that's blathering it. on about this and that and the next thing, but that's what we wanted we to share. got nothing else to share? Uh-uh. And mm. again, I'll be sending out the newsletter. So if you haven't joined our newsletter list and you want to get our tips and uh, ideas and things that we're doing mm. in uh, once a week in a newsletter, make sure you go on our website and join with the button that's at the top right. Right, right. Which, which eventually is going to be a much a better formatted newsletter. He's very concerned about the format because he's the design guy. I'm a, and, and I'm a I'm marketing like, person. We can send information. It's fine. Yeah, so we're sending you information via like a standard email, right? Um, I think next time it goes out, we'll be... Uh, It'll be prettier. Right, right. And I use Constant Contact, so that's probably how we'll do it. All right. Okay. Are you okay now? I'm... All right. <sighs> okay, I'm right. <laughs> if you're getting value from these, please make sure you like and share them so that we can reach more people and make a bigger difference in the American health. Right. Exactly. Do we have anything else? Just say goodbye. Just to close? Just say goodbye, Gracie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> goodbye, Gracie. No. <laughs> and so with that, we will say, eat plants. No. no wow, you can't I, even do it. She, I got thrown off. Let's try it one more time. Take it from the top, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> eat real food. Not too much. Mostly, Mostly plants. plants. Have a great we'll day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.